I think we choose a career, but we can also find ourselves in a career. Let me tell you a small story. Um, I like to say that human resources found me. I did not choose to be an HR practitioner. But how did that start? I finished uh, high school and was looking for an internship opportunity. And that's when, when I joined this telecom company back then in 2009, uh, the only free spot that was available was just in the HR department. Uh, I wasn't sure at that time what I would do in university and I didn't even have an idea of what I would want to do. Uh, so that's why I say um, a career can choose Choose you, but it's always best when you choose your career. So, um, as years went by, I started really loving what I do, and uh, now it's a career that I chose. Uh, so, it is possible to choose a career, and it is possible to find yourself in a career. The most important thing is that you identify whether or not you've chosen your career or found yourself in a career. Do you love it? Do you love what you do? Uh, when you love what you do, it's going to be very much easier to enjoy the process, to enjoy the hard days and to push back. I would love you to let me know in the comment below, do you, did you choose your job or did your job uh, choose you? I'd love to hear that. Uh, to be productive in your career, um, you need to do a check of, I love to say, uh, make a journal, journal your career growth and have a plan for it. So what you can do to enjoy and be successful in a career is to have an idea of what are the milestones that you would like to get to. Uh, another thing you could do is uh, definitely find someone who inspires you in the job that you'd like to do. Uh, ask them about their journey, how they got there, uh, find inspiration on how you can grow your own personal career. And another thing that I love to do definitely is do a career check. Am I at a level that I like? Am I at, um, am I behind where I need to be today? Uh, do I, because the goal is not to let anybody else than you decide and determine where you need to be. Um, I don't like to give this advice, but sometimes it's good to create a job because you are not growing in your company and your skills are not being either used to your full potential or uh, maybe the company is not the right one for you. So you need to do a career check and ask yourself a question about if this is the right move for you. And since we're talking about that, how about you get in touch with career coaches from Lead Access so that they can help you define if you are into the right career for you, give you more uh, tips on how you can develop your skills so that you can be the best and have a career success. Um, attitudes that you need to have to succeed in your career um, is first and foremost uh, agility. If you are unable to adapt to different situations in your career, I think that is going to be difficult. With technology coming up, uh, with uh, different changes, organizational changes coming up, uh, definitely an attitude to have is agility. Uh, it shows that you can adapt fast, you can grow fast, and you can be uh, in any situation that you're given in, you can actually thrive. A uh, second attitude to have is uh, teachability. I love people who are smart enough to know that they don't know everything. Uh, the third attitude to have in, um, to have a successful career um, is consistency. When you are consistent in the work that you do, uh, it sets a certain standard that can help you set yourself aside from the crowd. Uh, fourth and last uh, tip or attitude that you can have to have a successful career um, is to to think outside the box. It's very easy to get taken uh, with everything that is going around and not be innovative or creative. But I find that people who have this attitude to always kind of bring an added value by thinking differently, always bring something valuable to the team and they manage to be much more successful and get opportunities that are not available for the rest. So yeah, be um, think outside the box and propose those ideas so that you can stand out. 
I think a lot of people find themselves in this situation where they really thrive at something, but sometimes boredom or you just get tired of being in that organization or you are tired of uh, having to do the same thing over and over. Uh, these are things that are valid and the time you start asking yourself this question or of feeling you're drained, you don't no longer want to do this job, yet you're good at it, uh, it simply means that you need to do a check-in to find out what is the source, what is causing this, what triggering this. Um, are you tired of this environment? Are, do you want to see more things or do more things? Would you like your manager to change you a little bit from your organization and you, you do some job rotation to see if you like something uh, to do that's different? Is it because you're stagnant that you're no longer learning uh, new things? Is it because um, you would like to, to have more challenges? So it's good to have an assessment to see why is it that you feel that way. It's important to know the gut feeling and follow what why what, what's the source why is it coming where is it coming from and once you find out what that is um, I think it's also good to take a break sometimes when you take a break from everything from work especially it can give you a sense of um, it can give you clarity on what should be your next move. But I also like to say that uh, if you start feeling that way, it's also good to start doing something on the side to see if that brings you some sort of uh, excitement again to do your work uh, differently. And it could be even a way to transition into a different career in, t in case um, uh, you find out that what you're trying is more attractive to you. So I think those are the ways I will personally do it if I felt like I was no longer uh, motivated to do the job that I'm in. Uh, change is inevitable. And I like that as humans, we are not trees. So at any given point where you don't feel uh, you need to be at a certain place, you can change. Um, career shift is something that a lot of leaders, managers and professionals go through and there is nothing as important as identifying when it's the right time to make a career shift. So do not be afraid to do so. Uh, as long as you want to invest more time and resources in getting good at something, I would say go. Go, 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 change, it's, not, it's never too late. Even if you did not study a certain particular field, I've seen people who um, who've dropped a certain um, a field to go in a different field. Accountants who now want to be HR people, HR people who want now to navigate into, uh, I don't know, uh, sport, media, etc. Anything is possible as long as you feel a calling to go into that field. I would say definitely go for it. That's a very great question. And actually, I would like to read you, um, this is a book by uh, Shirley that's called Lenin. And in this book, uh, she talks about a study by McKenzie that reported that men are promoted based on potential, while women are promoted based on accomplishment. And it is true that if you are a woman, we are still in a culture that does not necessarily uh, promote equally women. Uh, so I'd like to read you some of the tips that she gives that are really important. Uh, she says that sometimes we hold ourselves back, uh, both in big and small, by lacking self-confidence, by not raising our hands, and by pulling back when we should be leaning in. So I think it's I would ask you this question, every time there's an opportunity, do you have a tendency to come forward or do you have a tendency to doubt yourself? Uh, if you have a tendency to doubt yourself and have really uh, low self-esteem, it would be a good thing to stop thinking, get out of your head and put a word forward, say something about it. She talks about um, leaning in raising your hands, and I think that's what, as women, we should be doing more. I see that even sometimes when women are coming forward, they're considered to be aggressive, but let people say that you're aggressive because you know what you're looking for. So don't be afraid to be the only woman who's raising her hand. 
as long as you need a promotion and you need to succeed in your career, know that you will be unstoppable as long as you are willing to take your career in your own hands. So uh, with this said, I am rooting for you and I hope that you will see and land your promotion soon. Uh, and if you can, please get this book, Lean In and Read It. I think it's a powerful book that can help any woman on her journey uh, to self and career development. Um, voila, that's it for today, guys. Uh, if you have any more questions, I would really love for you to drop them in the section uh, box. And remember that every Thursday, I will be sharing with you more tips. So don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And as always, keep going, keep growing. You got this.